Okay, show of hands here. How many of you have gotten a confusing medical bill? I know I have. Mm -hmm. And you can add a local mother and daughter to that list, and they're not happy about it. Five on your side investigator Jonathan Walsh is here right now. So, Jonathan, Janelle Botez can't understand why her bill was much more than she anticipated. And talked to a financial advocate before treatment at Cleveland Clinic, but the clinic says it was all done by the book. Confusing. This story is all part of our ongoing series, Diagnosis Debt. We're focusing on your medical bills. I'm not really strong enough to be like up against all of this. 33-year-old Janelle Botez from Richmond Heights suffers from a rare condition. Loretta Chadwick from Willoughby is her mother. Unfortunately, her muscles do not keep her joints from overextending. Couple that with severe fatigue and other ailments. All of it kind of culminates into the fact that she can pass out and fall. So when she feels like it's coming on, she just goes down. How do you feel right now? I feel pretty poor because I feel like it limits my life in a lot of ways. And that's why I'm trying to get help like from these doctors. One of those doctors ordered a diagnostic test, but Janelle was very concerned about the cost. I need to plan. I need to figure this out. Like, how am I going to budget for, for this? She has very limited access to work. She works from home when she can. Janelle's resources to pay her medical bills are scarce to begin with. So she says she went down to Cleveland Clinic, met with a financial advocate. That advocate laid out the procedure. And my daughter checked with her insurance, and they said it'll be a $40 copay. That's it. That was it. Janelle agreed to do the test in February of this year, but later she got bills totaling nearly a thousand bucks, not 40. Nothing out of the ordinary happened during that diagnostic procedure. There wasn't like an emergency like, you know, oh my gosh, she, you know, passed out, had a heart attack. Janelle had made the effort to get answers ahead of time for both the hospital and her insurance company. If people come to you asking for pricing, know your pricing. Janelle and her mom went back to the clinic to get answers. This woman's response was, well, you know, I don't know, but, you know, you'll know now for next time. We contacted Cleveland Clinic. Reps say the charges were appropriate to Janelle's insurance and deductible. The clinic encourages patients to reach out to insurance plans to make sure they know what's covered and that the clinic helps patients through that process. Loretta is upset. This is the tip of the iceberg with our entire healthcare environment today. There is a lot more talk this week about medical bills. In fact, from the White House, President Trump proposing an administrative rule that would make thousands of hospitals post the negotiated prices that insurance companies pay for procedures. In other words, be transparent. Meanwhile, Janelle still has many health issues. I want to be a normal person who can go and work a job and have a hobby and raise a family and I can't do any of those things. In addition to the financial frustration. It's not right, and I'm not going to sit back and just watch it quietly. And certainly our viewers haven't been quiet either. Just since yesterday when we launched this series, we're getting a ton of responses. Viewers are sending us their medical debt stories, and you can join the fight. Here's how. Go to our website or our News 5 app where you can explain what's happening on there. And you can email us at investigatortips at wews.com. We'll follow up on your stories.